Alright, today guys, I want to make a real quick video on how to get the subnet compression plugin for Valheim. Now, what this does is it compresses the data that's sent between your system and the server, and the server to your system. And I've had a lot of people in my videos saying that they're having uh, desync issues, um, and I have a fix for that in a video, but the problem with that is it increases how much data that can be sent. Now, when you increase the data that's sent, if your internet is not up to par, and able to deal with that you're still gonna have those desync issues so that's what this video is for is to fix that issue now the only thing with this is server has to have it and the players have to have it I'm gonna show first how the players get it and then I'll show you how to put it on a dedicated server if you're running your server through the game you're just gonna get it like all like I'm setting up for the players now what you're gonna want to do is head down in the description I have a link to this page and what they say you need is you need Beepin EX Valheim Full. Now, if you have Beepin EX for Valheim, you probably don't have full. So you're going to have to install this. Now, you can just copy it right in over top of your other files. Uh, if you have Beepin EX, uh, that's what I'm going to be doing here real quick. But you're just going to want to head to this page, Beepin EX Valheim Full, manual download. I'm going to save that file and save. And I can also download this while I'm here, manual download, and save the file. Now that I have that saved, what we can do is head over to Steam, right click on Valheim, go to properties, local files, and browse. And once that opens up, as you can see, got it right here. Now I'm going to head over here to downloads from the Valheim folder. Cause that's where I have it saved. You're going to need to go to the Valheim full first, open that up. And in here, this is what you need. Right click in here. I'm going to highlight them, right click, hit copy, hit this back arrow until I'm back in my Valheim folder, right click in here and hit paste. Uh, it's going to ask me if I want to replace the files in the location. It will not ask that for you. I've already set this up once to test it out. Uh, and I also have, I'm going to show at the end, uh, the, like the comparison of the data that's being sent from the server to the players and from the players to the server. So we can check that out. But anyways, now that that's copied in, beep and EX right here, go into plugins. This is where we're going to be putting the mod. So over here in downloads, we go to the subnet compression. And this is the plugin here plugins and there's that i wanted to take a look at their page because they showed how to set it up so inside here and beep and ex plugins subnet compression plugin and then have these dll's inside okay i want to see the layout of this folder real quick uh we're inside there Okay, we just need a folder that's named this with these files inside. I don't know why they didn't send it like that in the zip. What we can do is go back here. I'm just going to right click. Uh, I can copy it. And then we can head back over. Do I have it open? No, I don't. Okay, I can just head back to my Valheim folder by hitting this back arrow. And then plugins, I can paste it in here. And I don't know why it's inside of this folder. But all you have to do is highlight it, and I'm just going to drag it up here into the subnet compression plugins. And I can just delete this folder, and it'll be good to go. Now, what I'm going to do next, this is for if you have a dedicated server, and I'm going to show you how to set that up. So, I'm going to close out of this. Uh, you're going to have to download the same mods, so I already have them downloaded, so I'll just show you what to do after that point of having them downloaded. Uh, close out of these. What I'm going to do... Let's go into Steam or wherever you have the Valheim dedicated server installed. I'm just going to show you how to get to the files through Steam, local files, and browse. And then I'll open this up. And I can head in here. This is my dedicated server file. I'm going to do the same thing I did for the client. Go over here. I'm going to get the Beepin EX full first. Right click in here. Copy. It's back 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 and now i'm back in here right click and hit paste like i said i tested this before it won't be replacing any files for you uh, let's copy that in real quick shouldn't take too long and then we'll head in here copy the plugin in 
and uh, try it out. And then I'll get some comparisons. Uh, the only thing is it does uh, use a bit more CPU performance, but hey, uh, I know a lot of people having issues with this, so uh, I really like the idea of this fix. So here we're going to head in here into plugins. So this is where I'm going to be placing it. I'm going to head back over to my downloads, go into this file, gonna copy this, go back, back, and now I'm back in plugins, right click paste. I have to grab these files out of here and put it into this folder. And then I can delete this folder, delete that, and I will head into the, give me a second here, into this, I'm going to start up the server, properties, local files, browse, start up the server, and then I'm going to, as you can see, it's enabling it net compression is enabled so you can see it's working there and now I'm gonna start up Valheim and go test it out and we can see once Valheim starts up if it's working or not so right here let's see if it enables it net compression enabled so everything's working fine so far we just gotta wait for Valheim to start up and then we'll hop on the server and test it out uh, if you are hosting a dedicated server on your PC, I have a video on setting a, up a dedicated server and I talked about this. Um, you can use your local IP on your network in your home to connect to it. Uh, but I can leave a link down in the description if you want to look at that video and it talks about that. Uh, it can help with connection issues to your server and desync issues and such. But anyways... This shouldn't take much longer to start up. Surprised it's taking this long. I literally just did this test uh, before I made the video. But it shouldn't take much longer. If it does, I'll speed this up. Oh, that's cool. Console literally froze. I have no clue why I did that. I must have clicked in there and made it freeze. But anyways, we're back. Let's start the game. I'm going to use my test character and hit join game. Game, that is. Join IP. I'm going to use my uh, local IP since it is on my system in my network. Connect. And then we'll do some network comparisons. I wonder if the console froze up on this too. Hate that it does that. Yep. Console literally froze on the server too. I don't know why it does that. Uh, I know there's a fix to that. And uh, if you guys are having problems with your console freezing up like that, I'll look into it and see if I can't figure out what causes that. But anyways. Can't give it its time. Let it figure out what's going on and should be good to go. Yep, and it's joining. Loading up the world. All right, now I'm in game. I'm gonna press F2. Let's check these. Oh man, it is like cut in half. Here, we'll run around a bit more. Do a bit more testing before I call it quits. Wow. That is substantial. But yeah, if you are having issues with that, I 110% recommend using this mod to fix your connection issues with your server. Uh, but that is absolutely amazing there. I can't believe how much that did. Well, if this video did help you out, uh, liking and subscribing would be much appreciated. Only 1% of my viewers are subscribed, and I'd really appreciate it. And hopefully I'll catch you in the next video. Bye-bye.